Hello everyone, it's Old Guardian here. Making money with professions can be a little tricky in Dragonflight as in all World of Warcraft expansions. Typically, the majority of stuff that you can do with professions, the ingredients are worth more than the end result, so it's better to just be a miner or a herbalist, especially a herbalist in Dragonflight, and make your money that way. But there is always something that you can do. And one nice thing that I like to do is to do Draconic Treatises as a scribe. Draconic Treatises, these are quite low profit, but also low risk. Craftable item that goes a bit of a different path. It's not part of the inspiration meta. In general, Dragonflight has largely been about inspiration, because you can't get the best quality without some inspiration procs, so inspiration is the way to go. But in fact, Draconic Treatises are completely different they don't have quality levels, so whenever you craft a Dragonic Tree, this is the same Dragonic Tree as what anyone else could do. They are also bind on pickup, so they are only made through crafting orders. And these are actually one of the very few things that there are public crafting orders for, so you can just grab some public crafting orders, whenever you can find some anyway, craft some of these and make some gold. However, the main thing about if you want to really specialize in this is going into resourcefulness. Because when you complete a public crafting order and you have resourcefulness, then any materials that you save are actually coming to you instead of the customer. So typically I get some glittering parchments. Okay, that's not great. Sometimes I get some burnished ink. And sometimes I actually get some awakened elements. And that's kind of the whole idea behind this. Making a little bit of gold from the tips, then going full into resourcefulness, and that way make some of the materials whenever you start crafting these, and then profit from those. So what does it take to get there? I actually didn't put all of my points in optimal order, and knowledge points are not refundable, so mistakes live with you forever. But be as it may, I have now calculated the optimal path that I should have taken, and I can tell you that. So in order to start making Dragonic Treatises, you have to unlock the ability Dragonic Treatises. Learn to craft Dragonic Treatise of Inscription, and to discover additional treatises while crafting them. So first you get one for your own profession, and as you start crafting these treatises, you will discover the other recipes. So you don't actually need any points in Dragonic Treatises, you just need to unlock it. So first you want to unlock that. All right, so we need to start with archiving, and in archiving we need to put in 10 points. 10 points in archiving so that we can get a subspecialization, which will then be shared knowledge. And in shared knowledge, Again, we need 10 points in shared knowledge in order to get to Dragonic Treatises. And for that expenditure of just 20 points, Dragonic Treatises are unlocked and we can start crafting them. However, the real profit comes from resourcefulness. Dragonic Treatises improves your resourcefulness, shared knowledge improves your resourcefulness, but actually I should not have opened these first. So what I need, needed to do was 10 points here, 10 points here, then go into Rune Mastery. And you want to go 10 points into Rune Mastery, and then what you would really want to do is full your perfect practice. Because perfect practice gives you resourcefulness everywhere, and it gives you more stuff whenever you succeed in resourcefulness rolls. So that would be the next. And the ideal build that you would have would then have full 40 points in Rune Mastery, because you have resourcefulness in Rune Mastery, 30 points in perfect practice for all of that resourcefulness, and then 30 points in Shared Knowledge, because this also gives resourcefulness. 20 points in Draconic Treatises, because this gives resourcefulness. And finally, 15 points in Archiving, because at 15 points you get some resourcefulness from here. And at that point you have as much resourcefulness as you can possibly have for crafting Draconic Treatises. And then you can craft Draconic Treatises, get to keep some of the materials, get some Awakens, and just slow and steady profit, because those treatises are going to be in demand for the vast majority or the entirety of this expansion, because knowledge points are so hard to come by and so important to get that weekly knowledge point in. I know this is not as fancy as doing something like an elemental lariat or an not as profitable as managing to find one of those key items that people just want and being one of the first to use it. But this is solid steady profit that you can expect to gain throughout the expansion, while also actually doing some crafting instead of just gathering raw materials.
Thank you for watching. Click like and subscribe if you enjoyed this and a special thanks to all of my Patreon supporters, YouTube members and Twitch subscribers who make all of these videos possible.